Human Geography, Data Presentation, Epitome Words. The way I presented my epitome words was by using emotional mapping. Emotional mapping is when you have a color code. A color code goes from the brightest to the darkest and you can annotate or categorize the color code so the brightest color for me was the most positive words and the uh, darkest color for me was the most negative words so I had a map I got a map for myself a map where I could see all my sites and from site 1 to site 11 I looked at my epitome words for example in site 1 my epitome words were very very positive so I looked at my color code and I saw that my most positive uh, was the brightest color which was yellow so I picked the yellow and I um, colored site 1 in yellow another example in site 7 my epitome words were half positive and half negative so I went to my color code and I saw that green was in the middle in the middle of most positive and most negative so I colored site 7 in green so you get the gist of it it goes from site 1 to site 11 all have different colors except for few few might have the same colors because few might have the same epitome words the advantages of epitome words are that it shows geographical distribution and it is easy to visualize perception through color disadvantages highly subjective there will be different interpretations of the scale of emotions highly subjective means that my epitome words my color coding might be different to my peers that is what subjective means another disadvantage is that this will reduce real reliability let me touch on the subjective again subjective is your opinion so when I color when I did the emotional mapping that is my opinion and those are my epitome words however peers like my classmates might have different epitome words so they might use different color to uh, color each site overall I chose to present my epitome words as emotional mapping because it because it's it shows a geographical distribution and it is an easy visual perception through color. Interpretation of data. From my emotional mapping, I can conclude that the further the distance from the site of rebounding, the more negative the epitome words get. Therefore, the perception of rebounding becomes more negative as the distance from the site of rebounding increases.